Greetings and welcome back to Autonauts. I'm Catherine of Sky and we have a couple of things that we can do here. I was really excited um, that so many people commented in chat about how we can solve this mushroom problem. This is actually kind of great. Uh, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna, oh my gosh, look, look at how many mushrooms are piling up. Oh my god. So there uh, ended up being, wow, and all the love going on. Jeez, what are we... Did I not put the crude gear there? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Why are you waiting? You're, you're... Hello? That's interesting. Okay. Anyway, we'll, we'll figure out all the... <laughs> it's like, okay, why is this happening? We're gonna figure out all the problems. Um, there were three main solutions proposed for the mushroom farm. I guess let's tackle the mushroom farm first, because why not? Um, a couple of people mentioned that we should probably stop the berry beating if the berry uh, uh, storage is full. Of course, it's not near full right now. Did I not put down this box? I meant to. All right, let's just increase the berry storage a bit. Uh, all right, so that's, that's that part of it. Now then, um, we want to fix this area. Now, there were three different kinds of solutions that came about, and multiple people suggested each of these. So I'm just going to talk about them, and I've, I'm sorry, I get so many comments a day. I've forgotten who suggested what, but I do read everyone's comments. Thank you very much for those. Um, all right, so the first suggestion that I'm putting on the list, uh, to have the same um, person picking as uh, planting. So what they would do is uh, they would pick up all the mushrooms, fill all the holes that are there, and then put the rest in the box. That's an interesting idea, uh, but it feels like a lower thro throughput than I want. I want to have multiple bots doing the jobs, and this this uh, bot is very slow apparently, but I think we need more diggers or something going on here. Uh, oh, wait, there, we do have two diggers. How interesting. Anyway, um, so that's one of the ideas. A very interesting solution. A good good for maybe a small farm. Ours kind of qualifies as a small farm, but you know how I do things. <laughs> they, they, they tend to become big farms after a while. Anyway, um, there was another suggestion, which was a very interesting logic suggestion, which was for the baby feeder, the person who would be taking out the mushrooms to feed the babies, um, and for them to take them out when the box is or until the box is not full so uh my interpretation of this and the um the way this would work is that the bot would have to stand here while a mushroom delivery person or bot goes here and is filling and then they can take fill take fill take but that's very dependent upon the other bot uh having stuff uh and filling the box it's an interesting idea, but I think I don't want to have that dependency. I feel like it's going to be slower. I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong, but that's that's my feeling on it. Now, the last one is the one that I think I'm going to choose here, and that is to have two boxes. And uh, in fact, we're going to have three boxes, I think. And, and the way that works is that the bots picking up the mushrooms will drop them in this box which is going to be the, I will call it a seed storage box for better lack of a better word. Um, and then anything excess, they'll dump into a second box. And that second box can be used for feeding the, the babies. And then a bot can access that second box and feed as many mushrooms as they can handle uh, in that kind of a way. So that is the solution I'm gonna go with. I like this idea, um, but thank you everyone for your suggestions. And that, you know what? That's why I love this game. There are multiple solutions solutions to all the problems so um i for the life of me you know while i'm doing this it's it's kind of intense you know recording and, and playing and thinking and and worrying about bots and stuff <laughs> all this kind of thing so i really appreciate uh your suggestions i often can't think of things on the fly but this is this is kind of a cool thing where um i feel like the community is like fixing this problem it's awesome all right so let's get ourselves another box here and we'll have uh oh gosh let me just move this thing it's so fun funny to me that i have like these godlike powers and yet i have to walk and move the shovel that's quite so quite funny all right i'm gonna put this i don't know if i should have it one away or two away let's put in the excess mushrooms 
here. We'll make it too high, shall we? And then the baby feeding box. Well, we can also make that one as too high as well. I feel like I'm going to need more boxes soon. Let's just make a few more. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, darn it. Okay, apparently I, I can't make... Huh. Can I select these and delete them all? Oh, oh, yay! Oh, that's nice. I like that. Okay, apparently I can't make more if I have stuff in storage. That's interesting. I guess I could just spam them on the ground and make a bunch more, but anyway. It's okay. We're getting there. We're gonna get construction technology. Wait a second. Didn't we... Did we get our thing? Oh, no! Okay, now... Let's figure this out and I'll tell you about the other thing. So I had started recording an episode and it was 40 minutes and I'd been going and I was just finishing and we did all kinds of things. And then the power went out because we had a snowstorm. <laughs> so I was like, hey, how come this is not done? Well, it's not done because yeah, anyway, uh, power went out. And of course, when you are recording in MP4 format, if the power goes out or something, it doesn't save the file or the file is corrupted, basically. So bad times, bad times, but it's okay. We're going to get this figured out. All right. So this bot, um, let's look here and figure out what we're, what we're doing. Mushroomy bots are here. Now then, uh, we have the mushroom dig bot. Uh, they're going to get a stick. Okay. We're going to fix this entire mushroom area, I think. Um, and somebody mentioned that we could also use, instead of sticks, we can use spades. Yes, that is true. I might do that as well. Maybe I'll just get... These people need sticks for the berries. They, the berries only work if you beat them with a the stick. You can't beat them with a mallet or anything like that. A few people have asked about that. Let's see, sticks are full over here. Um, and then we have plenty of spades as well. I guess I can just put a stick and a spade storage down here. I'm wondering if I should put it like here-ish. So they're kind of accessible and then accessible for anything we're going to do in this area as well. Let's just do that then. Oh, but it's a lot of, it's, it's fine. It's a lot of transport, but it'll be fine. I'll just put them both here. Okay. Um... I guess I'll just teach some bots to do it. Oh, these guys can do it. These older bots, they're fine. Okay, let's go and collect them and have them take stuff to the storage, those storage places. And that's going to be their job is to transfer stuff and they probably won't have anything to do, but it's okay. They'll be fine. All right. Hey, Botsy, how you doing? Uh, oh, I didn't want to pick you up. Hold on. Let's, let's talk to you. You have some things. No, you don't have any things. Looked like you were, had a, a thing. Here, I'll take your stick. That's fine. Oh, actually, you want to be stick bot? All right, let's talk to you instead. All right. Hey, dude. All right, you're going to be... I don't know what we should call these. Pre stick T, maybe? Transport? All right. I want to record you, and you're going to go here. Move to crate. Now, a couple of people asked me... Oh, he's got another stick as well. Look at that. Uh, I'm going to put the stick on the ground. Hello. There we go. Put it on the ground. That's fine. Move to stick storage. Uh, and we're just going to grab from stick storage. A few people asked me if we could do the loop on the take action. So we're going to try this till hands full. And then we're going to uh, put that stick in here. And we're going to try it with the loop only around this. That uh, that does actually would speed up the transfer. But we don't know if we can actually do this yet. All right. And we'll try this. Uh, until hands empty. Can you do that forever, please? Let's try this. Let's watch him go. I really want to change the research. I should have done that first. I forgot. I, um... It was such a... I, I was having this really good run and the wind was blowing and it was fierce outside. Because we're moving there. Take, take, take. Did he get his... Did he get any? Looks like it, maybe? I can't tell. It's hard to tell if he has any or not. 
We'll check the stick storage and see how many he dumps in there. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. So he took four. That's pretty good. And I'm not going to bother putting one in inventory and all that kind of silliness. Um, we're just going to do this because he's not going to make many trips in his entire lifetime. Okay. So this does actually work. The, the finding the planks didn't work. That was one thing we couldn't get to work. Oh, right. Cool. Badge get. Woohoo. Yay. Um, all right. But that does work. Okay, that's very nice. And then we're going to have this other bot uh, do something quite similar. I'm going to teach you. You're going to be... Let's see. Uh, spade. Spade transport. Okay. Okay. I just want you to grab, oh, gee, all right. This guy's a little different because you can only hold one tool at a time. So what we're going to do is we're going to give him a backpack. Uh, right, we're going to give you this backpack. So he can actually only carry two items at a time now, but that's actually, it's okay. It's good. I mean, we don't really need a whole ton of these things. So you go over here, please. Move to crate. Take from spade. Press Q. Then take again. Okay. And then go to here. Dump it in. All right, there I go. Leapity leap. Remove from storage and then do it again and then do it forever. Go. Okay, there we are. Nice. Very, very nice. Oh, wait, we have a lot of bots discharged. Was I still doing a bot experiment up here? I can't remember. <laughs> or are they going to get charged? Is this our charge bot? Might be. That's right. Uh, in the episode that got lost, uh, I was going to do the charge uh, experiments that have been asked for as well. Uh, let's first of all go to the research, because that was something that I really wanted to do and figure out and get going um, because I wanted to get those data disks. The data disks are really um, an important research that's going to allow us to copy from program to program or bot to bot. Um, where is it? Is it not that one? Storage? No. No, 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 no. It is... Is it robotics? with the data disk. Ah, yes, this is a crude data storage. So this thing allows us to copy programs from one bot to another, and I think it's kind of important. So this is gonna cost us a bot head mark one, um, and then, yeah, power technology. Somebody said that this might be uh, something that is not actually a torch, it's not lighting, that it might be a power thing. So I'm not sure about that, but we'll check it out. I mean, I want to do all the things eventually. So robotics technology, we need a bot head to research. Um, and luckily, uh, our research is, uh, is saved. So we, we don't have to worry about not having, uh, or, or stopping research because we can always, uh, resume progress on that. Let's get this bot head over here. Let's walk back. And then we'll change the research. Yay! We may have to have more babies around here as well. Alright, so we want to change research now to cancel it. Okay, and then we're going to choose robotics technology. Yay! Alright, and drop off the head, and then now our bots can do their thing once again. Okay, now this is going to start obviously at zero, but we can go back and look at where was it there it is construction technology you see we have nearly half done basic textiles and clothing that means we can probably clothe our bots oh poncho yarn ball well that's cool crude clothing station oh it's like a rocking chair and a spinning wheel here oh that's so cute threshing machine all right this is fun stuff wool blanket oh i wonder if that's something our colonists want see that's another thing that we can get we can get simple huts as well. I'm wondering if I should do that. Maybe our colonists would like to live in huts. Maybe they would give us more wealth. I'm not sure exactly. All right. Anyway, let's go fix our mushroom problem as well. And then we'll see if we have time to get to the other issue, of course. Uh, oh yeah. We didn't even fix this one either. All right. So 
going back here let's see um i think i'm gonna have transporters in their own category maybe let's just start one these are gonna be people or bots that take stuff uh from main storage area to extra areas like tools and stuff like that transporters with an s please there we go and gray color sure thanks there you go go in there thank you all right so mushroom guys how you doing how are you we have a lot of mushrooms hanging out over here here's our mushroom dig bot and i think what i'm gonna do i need to stop him and then we're gonna change his area to extend a little further out here i might even dig up some of this turf here and just make it kind of square okay so we find soil yes you're great. Oh, that's it. That's the limit. Huh. All right. That's not ideal. Sure. Oh, oh, but we can change this. We're going to move to crude space storage over there instead. Let's go here. Move to crate. All right. And then we want to delete these. All right, and say go. Hooray. Uh, there you go. And you do your thing. Now that's the dig bot. Mushroom digger. <sighs> now, I think if... What we want to do is put in a second condition here, I guess. Until... How do we want to do this? I think we'll put the, the loop in here. And somebody says you can, is it shift click? No, or control. Control, hello. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's nice. You can grip a whole bunch of it. So I did control and click on top of each one. So this one is going to be until, um, we want to do, if not full, then do this stuff. So, uh, then we can do this. Oh, but maybe this should go outside that. Hmm. Because the moment it is full it's gonna stop and then it's gonna look for crude spade storage mm, it should work it should work it might be sloppy but <laughs> maybe it'll work i think so i think so hopefully okay so this is the digger and if this is full it's not gonna dig anymore that should be fine now then mushroom planter Mushroom planter. So this is grabbing from this storage, I believe. Take from loose mushroom storage one. And that is that one right there. That's just fine. Okay. Now the mushroom storage person is this one. So what we want to do here is, let's see. Till hands empty. Um... And if he can't empty his hands, we want him to go to the other storage. Okay, so we're gonna get out of this loop, if that's not the case, and then go over here. Oops, I forgot to get mushrooms. Oh, here we go, get mushrooms. Grab them in, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna delete all this. There we go, and then control click both of those, put them up here and get a little Nope, 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 nope. Oh no. Oopsies. Took off the forever loop. That was unexpected. I, th I expected to put another uh, loop around. Okay, so we'll do this until hands are empty. Uh, and I don't think we actually need... We actually, we can get out of this loop. So if the feeding box is going to be full, uh, we can... Get out of it, 
get more mushrooms, put them back in this. Because we have to remember that the other bot, the planter bot, is also going to be taking from this one. All right, I guess that's okay. That should work for us. So yeah, do the um, exit repeat on fail. Okay, and say go. All right, let's see how that works. Okay, and you're complaining about something. Oh dear. Oh dear. Our, uh, <laughs> our, our laziness has come back to haunt us. Oh dear. Okay, let's see. Uh, until... Huh. Use held item. Yeah, we're gonna have to move these somehow. Let's see. Get these out. Whoops. Record to edit. Take these out of this loop. I guess we can put this thing... Huh. Maybe we should put that on the outside instead. Yeah, maybe we should do that and then... We can do the... Hmm. Maybe we should just put this around the whole thing. Maybe that's the way to do it. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it, actually. Uh, right. That's fine. Until- that's our storage area? Yes? Right. Okay. Okay, I think that's the way to do that. Okay. Uh, whoops. No! No, that's not right. Oops, I, I forgot what we're doing here. Okay, and- oh, dear me, dear me, dear me. Maybe we should repeat until the loose more mushroom storage is full. I think that's what we need to do. Let's just do it the opposite way there. Till the storage is full. Okay. And then when it's not full, it's going to stop. But then it's going to check and do it forever. So when it's not full, it's going to keep on doing this. Okay, I think that makes more sense. Uh, to me, at least. And then when it's full, it's going to stop. Alright, that's fine. Alright, let's just do that then, shall we? I hope that's better. <laughs> Sometimes brain, my brain gets a little bit dyslexic. Apologies for that. It happens. It happens. All right. And um, I also noticed somebody in the comments uh, mentioned, or several people mentioned the houses for these babies. One of the things I don't know about these little uh, people, colonists, is if uh, they can live in a house. Like, do babies need a hut? Uh, or are they too young? I don't know this, so we'll have to figure it out. What's going on over here? Oh, and another uh, comment that I got was the berry beaters. Uh, we might need or want to make them beat the bushes uh, only until the, um, the storage is full. So let's just do that because otherwise uh, the, the comment was that the... the, the what do you call them? The birds eat the berries, and that's absolutely justified. So let's go ahead and get another loop here. We'll do until the bushy thingy thing is full. There we go. And we'll put in this uh, here. The berry thing is full. Okay. And then we're going to move this one in, and then these two also in. There we go. Okay, good. Oopsies. Move to bush, move to stick. Stick storage. Ah, yes, and we need to change the stick storage to a different one. This is actually stick storage three. So let's go there. Move to crate. This is berry bush beater. I don't know if this is the first one or the second one. We'll see. All right, we'll change these. Oops, did it grab one? There we go. We don't want the waiting command here. Move to crate. Wait, did it? Oh, there we go. Okay, let's delete these. Just want to make sure it has the right commands here. Okay, take those and say okay. Good. Okay, so that is this berry bush beater. Here's another berry beater. Actually, we'll, we'll do the second one, then we'll change the name again. Okay, let's change this uh, bot as well. And then we'll do the same kind of a thing. Let's record. Let's take this off. Add the other loop until... Um, 
Where is it? Till something full. There we go. Till this thing is full. Let's move this up into here. And then also go grab a stick from our stick storage. And put that in the inner loop here. Or one of the inner loops. Okay. You're good. Alright, and then this one, the berry bush beater, will just take out the word bush. So it's a little bit more consistent with the rest. Okay, good. Very nice. And then I'll just plop those back in here. Whoopsies. Uh, too many. Slightly too many. I'll just leave them on the forest floor. That's just fine. Okay, so it looks like we have everything kind of working here. I hope we have enough uh, of these people. So now we need a another robot to take stuff from the loose mushroom storage over here. Uh, and those are going to go to this mushroom storage and those can be used to feed the little babies. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go and get another bot. How about you? Um, and what do we want to do with this bot? Do we want to give bot a backpack? I guess we can because we should have enough um, enough stuff. So let's go and make, her, make the bot a backpack real quick. Let's go here. And also shoes might be really good as well. All right, so let's make some shoes. And I forgot how to make these completely. It's been a couple of days since I played the game, been having lots of stuff going on uh, on the channel and such. Okay, there we go. I'll get a couple of poles. There we go. Now the next thing is the backpack. Yep, we need a pole for that and three planks. Ah, and someone also mentioned, and I completely forgot this, that the tree cutter should not cut trees if we have too many logs. So let's find that person first now uh, before we get to the rest of this. Let's see, forestry, the tree chopper. Right, okay, dude, stop, please. And um, we're going to have him check and see stuff. Let's do a... Check to see if something is full. This one. Yeah, then stop. Then do forever. Go. Yep, now he's not going to do much. Uh, somebody asked me, do the, um, the diggers dig the stumps? Yes, they do. They're right there. So, yep, they do dig those stumps. Um, but sometimes it looks like there's a lot of them. Be I think because they can't really keep up that well. So anyway, let's go and get this stuff. Somebody asked me if we can use any of these items on ourselves. And let's just look at that. We definitely can't. So if we try to drag this, it doesn't go there. And it does say that it's a bot locomotion upgrade and not, I guess, a human one. Same thing with the backpack crude bot upgrade. Nope, can't drag it. It doesn't work. Uh, so let's go and give these to a new bot. I have to say I was a bit amused with uh, someone's suggestion that I have bots running like in an endless loop just waiting to be charged <laughs> so we could have a charge thing going on. I thought that was quite clever and quite funny as well. Okay, so this is going to be a bot that carries a bunch of stuff long distance. It would have been nice to stack uh, backpacks, but that's not a thing. So um, let's just get this bot and teach it to do mushroom carrying. So you go here, please. And grab the stuff from us, from the bo box, I should say. from Not from us specifically. Oops, I lost my cursor there for a moment. Okay, taking from stuffs. And I want you to do this until your hands are... F uh, no. Nope, I don't want you to do this yet. Um, we want to do this and say Q. And do this twice. Okay, let's just do this thing like this. Do it X times. Two times. Okay, and that's going to be the first thing we do. Okay, and then we do until hands full, and then go over here. Okay, and then we want to do this until the hands are empty. Okay. Um... And this is probably not the right bot to try this on. Oh, I feel like we're going to run out of stuff. <laughs> All right. And then we'll go Q 
Retrieve. Um, and then let's see, stow. Okay, and then we'll do this two times as well. We have two kilobytes free. Whew. Just enough, just enough. Okay, um, two times. And then do the whole thing forever. Oh, one kilobyte free. This is great. Okay, so you're going to be mush, uh, yeah, mush room T, transport. Okay, you go in the transporter thing. Now then, um, some people have a, had a, a question for me. Do bots need to have that thing in their loop where it's the getting thing? Let's try that. Let's just teach a random bot new tricks, hopefully. Let's teach this one to go here and then move to pallet and take from plank storage or yeah, do that, do that um, until hands are full. And we're gonna put the plank storage outside of this. Okay, and then I want you to deposit it, I don't know, over here, move to here and drop, drop all. Okay, yeah, do that. Repeat that uh, one time. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have taken that. I, I guess I could do this. Okay, do that one time. I want to see how many planks we end up with here. And see if they do need to move to the plank storage and take or because we know that didn't didn't work with this with finding the planks on that one square uh, but we'll see how it works we'll see what this does put this back go over here check it in okay it does look like it has several planks okay so this might be something that we can save time on like grabbing all these planks okay that looks really great let's pick up this bot Yep, there are four planks here. Okay, so that is something that we know we doesn't have to be in the repeat loop. Okay, that's good to know. Very good to know. Alrighty, um, I'm just going to clear this. Boom, and you're done. I'll pick you back. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Play? Okay. Pick you up and put you down there. Okay, that's good to know. Very good to know. So any of these bots, I don't really want to reprogram all of them right now, but if we get to them and we need reprogramming, we'll do the reprogramming. This one here, the one that's waiting, the transporter ones, I am going to reprogram those because that's kind of important. Um, let's just put these because they are high volume type people okay now this retrieve command has to be in the loop so I'm gonna leave that there uh, but I think otherwise that one can be okay let's look at the spade transporter oh that's already just yep that's fine stick transporter uh, yep that's fine okay great uh, did I do this earlier I might have done this earlier. Oh, geez. Okay, so what happened is I recorded this episode in two parts, <laughs> about uh, 12 hours apart. So, um, yeah, forgive me if the, I just did exactly the same thing there, uh, but it was an interesting uh, recording there. So anyway, uh, it looks like that's a pretty decent uh, thing to do for this particular episode. I'm going to talk about the whole uh, charging thing in the next one because we did get some very interesting solutions from YouTube comments for that as well but there's no more time in this episode so we'll conquer that in the next one but for the moment thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time